Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and I have a chalk drawing to share with you today. We are going to be doing the 12 divisions of a circle. Now the first material that I'm showing you is called Drawing Circle Images and it goes through the divisions of a circle up to 12 fold symmetry and we're going to be doing the 12 division of a circle although it's going to look a little bit different than the way that this book presents it. I also have my Waldorf curriculum. This is by Live Education for Grade 6. I'm also using this for our main lesson block and our 12 division of a circle is going to look a little bit more like the image in this book. Now we've done this before and so my inspiration for this project is this watercolor drawing. I also have a video tutorial on that. You can check the description box below for that link. Now the first thing we have to do is erase our chalkboard. This is always a little bit sad for me to do. I'm using a wet washcloth because we use highly pigmented chalks for our chalk drawings and that's going to help get it nice and clean. Once it's dry, I'm going to start on my chalk drawing. I'm using a chalkboard compass to do this and you want the initial circle to be less than one third of the height of the chalkboard. Now mine ended up being a little bit too big and you can see that I am hitting the top of the chalkboard while doing these circles and so I would just recommend that you reduce it so that you can get the full effect of this chalk drawing. Next, I'm going to work on the second set of divisions of a circle. So I've already got six and now I'm going to do the next six so I get a total of 12. I'm just going to be going through and making sure I've got all of my divisions. I missed one of them, so now I've got all 12. I'm also going to erase the original circle. You do not have to do this, but I'm going to be doing this so that when we do our coloring of this, you can kind of get more of like a flower effect, but you can do this however you'd like. I'm using my Sargent Art Square Chalk Pastels. I really love these chalk pastels because they give a nice vibrant color. They do take a little bit more effort to erase, but I think that they look wonderful for chalk drawings. I'm going to be coloring this in in sort of a flower or a lotus formation so that I've got a nice light color, a pale yellow in the middle, and then I'm gonna be moving towards the out side of this chalk drawing with the yellow, the golden yellow, the orange, the pink, and then finally the purple. Now, had I made this whole chalk drawing a little bit smaller, I would have been able to go all through the colors all the way until blue or green. But I did erase part of the outside of the image so that this remains like a flower image rather than just a circle image. I thought I would outline everything with black and it looked terrible so immediately I erased it and then redid it and then I went through with my white chalk and I outlined everything again with white because that's what it looked like in the beginning but once you get all of your chalk in there you kind of lose that and I really like the way that the white kind of accentuates the drawing. Okay, so if you'd like to see some of the other tutorials that we have for our geometry main lesson block, you can tap on the screen right now. You can also check out the blog post that accompanies this video. That link is down in the description box below. And if you want to see how our homeschool looks like on a daily basis, you can find me on Instagram at Pepper and Pine.